With summer in full swing, with high humidity and soaring temperatures, keeping your dog cool while getting them proper exercise is a serious concern. Today's video is on how to recognize heat stroke in dogs, as well as different ways to keep your dog cool when venturing outside in warmer temps. Hi, I'm Laura from Doggy U, and I'm a certified guide dog mobility instructor, service dog trainer, and trick trainer. In today's video, I'm going to give you tips for keeping your dog cool, including gear recommendations and special treats to help them cool off and mentally engage them, as well as important tips for exercising your dog when the temperatures rise. Hot weather can be a serious problem for dogs, and some of these tips can literally save your dog's life, so you're going to want to stick around to the end. All right, let's get started. Recognizing signs of heat stroke. Your dog could exhibit heavy panting or difficulty breathing, dry or sticky gums, excessive drooling, abnormal gum color, bruising in the gums, appearing lethargic, uncoordinated or disoriented, collapsing, or vomit or have diarrhea. So what do you do if your dog starts exhibiting these signs? Seek medical care at a veterinary hospital immediately. While on your way, you can use cool water or cool cloths on their head, stomach, armpits, and feet. If you're using wet cloths and not just pouring water, these should be continually replaced or they'll start to retain heat. If you have a fan, point it at your dog to ensure continuous airflow and evaporative heat loss until you reach the veterinary hospital. General tips. Okay, so now that we can recognize the signs of heat stroke in dogs, what can we do to prevent it from happening? Some breeds and body types do better than others in heat. Know your dog and don't put them in a situation their body and coat can't handle. Always carry more water than you think you'll need. If you travel with your dog frequently and it's within your budget, I highly recommend picking up a cheap car freezer where you can store frozen treats for your dog as well as ice packs and cold water to help cool them and yourself down in warm weather. You can check out the one that I travel with down in the description below. Always park yourself in the shade when available, whether that's at a picnic or an outdoor event or if you're hanging out in the car. If there isn't shade available, bring a pop-up tent and make your own. Another simple but occasionally overlooked part of the cooling equation is properly grooming your dog. If your dog has lots of dead hair trapped in their coat, their coat won't be able to efficiently regulate heat, so make sure you're brushing them frequently to remove trapped hair. Keeping them at a healthy weight can also help them regulate their body temperature. Consider investing in a pressure-activated cooling pad that you can put in the crate or on the ground. Give them access to a bowl of cool water at all times. If they're in the yard, get them a kiddie pool that you can keep out of the sun or throw ice cubes in to keep it cool. If your dog is timid about going into the kiddie pool, make sure you introduce them slowly with just an inch or two of water to start. Give them lots of treats for exploring this new obstacle, and you can even build a small dirt ramp or a step to get inside the pool if they're nervous about jumping in. Dark dogs can be more sensitive to direct sunlight as their coat can absorb it more quickly and raise their body temperature. I have one primarily black dog, and for that reason, I use a swamp cooler. While they're less effective in humidity due to them working best with evaporative cooling, anecdotally, I've found that regularly re-wetting and wringing them out, as well as the light material that keeps the sun off the dog's coat, can be incredibly helpful for a dark-colored dog. Use fans. You can pick these Ryobi ones up on Amazon or in Home Depot. I'll link them down in the comments below, but they're awesome for humans and dogs alike on those warm, windless days. Finally, if you're looking to offer your dog a cool, fun treat, try making homemade popsicles. These are probably best enjoyed outside or in a crate and not on your favorite rug, but your dog will have a blast. I typically make them by freezing a mix of yogurt, pumpkin, peanut butter, and other dog-friendly snacks inside a plastic cup. Once frozen, I run it under hot water and pop it out when it's time to give it to the dog. Another fun cooling idea is to fill a kid's sand bucket with water flavored with a little bit of low sodium chicken broth and put a toy in the middle and freeze it. Once popped out of the bucket, your dog has to figure out how to release the toy from the ice. This can be a fun mental and physical game for them as you watch them roll your ice creation around your yard. And before we move on to some important exercise tips, now's the time that I ask you to head on down and boop that like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying this video and want me to make more. And feel free to throw your ideas down in the comments below. Jake Cool Whip and I would be so grateful. Exercise. Bring dogs out early in the morning or later in the evening when temps are lower and pavement has cooled down. Be sure to light up yourself and your dog if you're going to be traveling down a busy road. Check the pavement. If you can't comfortably place the back of your hand on the pavement for 10 seconds, it's too hot for your dog to stand on. Brachiocephalic dogs may have a harder time cooling off in warm weather, so be extra careful in the heat. 
If there's any chance the pavement might be hot, put boots on your dog and don't keep them out longer than needed for a potty break. Additionally, make sure that you're monitoring their exercise in the summer. Some dogs just don't know when to quit and will play until they succumb to heat exhaustion, especially those with high drive. Give your dog plenty of breaks in the shade, even if they grumble about it. Also, be careful of water intoxication. While playing in the water can be a great way to exercise your dog in the summer, overdoing it can cause them to drink too much water too quickly, which disrupts the balance of electrolytes in the dog's body, which can cause a disturbance in brain function and lead to brain damage, heart failure, or even death. It's serious. Enforcing a break every few minutes can help you monitor their water ingestion. If you're not sure, stop water play. And remember, if it's just too hot to exercise outside, exercise your dog inside by working on your obedience, training a new trick, or giving them a food puzzle enrichment toy. You can find a list of videos in the description below to show you my favorite puzzle toys to use to keep your dog mentally stimulated, as well as videos with step-by-step -step instructions for easy tricks to teach your dog. Summer can be an awesome time for you and your pup, full of lots of adventures and lazy evenings in the yard. With these tips, you can keep your dog safe and healthy in the hot summer weather. And if you like this video, you're gonna wanna watch this one too, so you should click on it now. You all have an awesome day and happy training.